Hello everyone, this is Suraj here. Welcome you all to my channel. Today, I will show you how to provide cross account S3 bucket access to an EC2 instance without using STS assume role. See here, in account A, one EC2 instance is there and one IAM role is attached with this EC2 instance. And in account B, one S3 bucket is there and corresponding bucket policy is attached with this S3 bucket. So, we will access objects within this S3 bucket from this EC2 instance in another account. Fine. So let's go to AWS console so that we can see how we can do the configuration. I am in AWS console now. Just check the AWS account number. So consider this account number as account A. Fine. So in account A, we will create one EC2 instance. Click on instances, launch instances. I will name this instance as demo EC2 and instance type is t2.micro ok and in key pair I will choose proceed without a key pair and in the network setting I will select one existing security group that is the default one fine now launch the instance now see our instance is running fine so I will create one IAM role for the EC2 instance. IAM click on roles and create role and here I will choose EC2. Next create policy. So what is the service? Service is S3 and what are the actions we want to allow? list bucket get object and put object and in the bucket see we need to specify bucket in for the list bucket and object in for get object and put object so i will add the bucket name so what will be the bucket name so bucket name is the bucket name of account B. So I will go to account B and we will click on S3. See here only one bucket is present in account B. Just check the account number. So this is different account. So I will copy the name. This is the name and here I will paste this. Add ARN and in the object ARN. I will write bucket name and object will be any object that is star. Add ARN. Fine. Next. And I will name this policy as cross account S3 policy. Fine. Create policy. It is now created. And click on roles and refresh this and here I will choose that same policy cross account s3 policy this is the one next and I will name this as cross account s3 role create role the role is now created. I will go to the EC2 instance and we'll select the instance. Go to actions, security, and modify IAM role. And here I will choose this cross account S3 role, right? And update IAM role. Now I will select the instance and we'll try to connect to this instance. So click on connect, connect. We are now connected to the instance. Fine. Now I will go for AWS S3 LS because we have the list bucket permission of that particular S3 bucket. So what was the name of the bucket? I will copy this. AWS S3 LS, the bucket name. Fine. Enter. See, an error occurred and we are getting access denied error. Why? Although we have given the IAM policy so that the EC2 instance can access the s3 bucket present in account b it is not able to access that one because that s3 bucket is there in another account so for that what we need to do we need to attach one 
bucket policy with that particular S3 bucket so that it can allow access to this IAM role which is attached to this EC2 instance. Fine. So let's go to the S3 bucket. So we are now in account B and I will click on this bucket, go to permission and bucket policy. Click on policy generator. So I will choose S3 bucket policy and in principle I will write star for now. After that I will modify it and in the actions I will choose get object, put object and list bucket. Get object, yes get object, list bucket and put object. This is the one. Okay. So what will be the ARN? The ARN means the ARN of the S3 bucket. So let's copy the ARN. This is the ARN. And see, we need two ARNs. One is bucket ARN, another one is object ARN. But here we have only one option. Fine. So let's keep it for now and we'll modify it later. So add statement, generate policy. So this is our policy, right? So now we need to modify the resource. So I need to add the object here and also so comma and here within double quotation I will write the object here in right so s3 bucket here in slash star okay and what will be the principle so the principle will be the im rule which is attached to that ec2 instance okay so we need to write like this within curly bucket it should be aws colon then within the square bucket within double quotation we need to provide the role arn so let's go to account a i am role and i will search for this cross account s3 role right so this is the arn and i will paste here fine now everything looks good i will copy this and paste here in the s3 bucket policy fine so save changes okay it's now saved now i will go to the ec2 instance in account a and see if i run the same command aws ls the bucket name see it is showing nothing that means nothing is there inside that bucket let me check go to objects see nothing is there let me refresh it nothing is there okay so what we will do we will create one file echo hello world demo.txt echo hello world greater than demo.txt okay ls hyphen l see demo.txt file is there so i will copy this file to that s3 bucket aws stcp demo.txt s3 colon slash slash the bucket name okay fine it's now uploaded let me check here see it's now uploaded fine now i will list the s3 bucket let's see aws s3 ls the bucket name now see this file is there it is now showing okay let's remove demo.txt from the local system and download it from the s3 bucket so what i will do rm hyphen rf demo.txt okay nothing is there less hyphen l see no files are there so i will copy the file from s3 bucket to this local system aws s3 cp s3 colon the bucket name Plus demo.txt and dot means this location. Okay, it's now downloaded. Let's check ls hyphen l. See, it's showing. Okay, that's it for now today. We'll see you in the next video. If you really like this video, kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.